Hello to my Gemini family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of December 13th through the 19th. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. And with this being a general reading, Gemini, some of the content will and will not resonate with you. If interested for a private tarot card reading tailored specifically to you, my website link is listed below. So let's get into the reading. First card, Page of Swords. Next, Five of Swords. And Two of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini, so I'm picking up whatever you've been concerned about, whatever you're working towards, working on, focused, whatever is at the forefront of your mind, uh, maybe that's the best way to put it. There's possibly some changes coming in this week, or at least like some information in regards to what it is you're after. But my guides are wanting me to get through specific messages and I'm kind of getting that time is of the essence. So that's about living in the here and now, Gemini, and about not waiting for what I'm going to say is what you're going to think is a better time because you might not get that opportunity. So definitely don't put things off kind of energy coming in here, Gemini. So taking a look at your first card, you have the Page of Swords. And out of all the pages, this messenger, this page goes to great lengths to get you to the truth, to a situation, the news that you need, information. So there's some news coming in this week that's going to alert you to the truth of something. Yeah. And if you look closely, like up here, you see the birds in the sky. It's almost like an arrow. They're flying in that V formation. So definitely something that you're going to find out here, Gemini. It could possibly be news that you've been waiting for and you certainly want the truth. So definitely this page, like really holding the sword here. Kind of embracing the dilemma, the problem, or in regards to the news she has to give. This page is really a kind of a good out of the box kind of thinker, very sharp, intelligent. So definitely she could be bringing in some news in regards to a problem. It could be a test result, maybe some news to solve a situation. That's what I'm picking up. So Let's pull a clarifying card for the Page of Swords. See if we get any other information. But you're certainly going to get to maybe get some very important news this week, Gemini. You have the Major Arcana card, the Fool. Whatever this is in regards to, it's going to put you in a new direction. So if it's in regards to finding out something in regards to your business, your job, your career, something's going to push you to go into a new direction. And that could be leaving a company and going off and working somewhere else. It could be possibly moving, buying a home. Could be in regards to your lifestyle, your health, where you're going to have to now go off in a new direction as it's alerting you to what you need to do maybe changing up your diet, your lifestyle. So this page of swords, whatever the news is, you're going to then kind of go off in a completely like different direction. This is the leap of faith card. And I'm not picking up any positive or negative energy specifically. It's just going to set you in a new direction, Gemini. Now next... 
Five of Swords. So, boy, your mental energies, the sword energy is in full swing, so to speak. Now, the Five of Swords is, it can be kind of hanging on to an idea, maybe how things were. I keep getting the information of how things were. Maybe how your lifestyle was, your family, your day-to-day -day living, how things were. You're clinging very tightly to that. And you really need to look like at the big picture because whatever this page of swords and this new direction that you should be going in, then there's this five of swords. Could be that you're kind of staying in an unhealthy frame of mind maybe or situation, possibly afraid of what others will say. The Five of Swords, this five energy, is that first step going in a new direction. So it ties into your Fool card. You need to take that first step, but it's going to shake things up. It's going to feel out of your comfort zone, Gemini. So definitely could be maybe moving on to a new job, maybe moving specifically, like moving house. It's kind of having to kind of step out Side your comfort zone and really seeing the truth to whatever the page of swords has brought in and you have to adapt to it. So there could be this five of swords where you're almost fighting it, where you're not doing yourself any favors. So there could be arguments with others around you who are concerned for your health and well-being. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Five of Swords, but Five of Swords here is kind of like winning at all costs, and that's you, Gemini. You want things the way you want them to be. So something is changing that you're not comfortable with. The Queen of Swords. So again, the sword energy. Queen of Swords is the indication of the truth being presented to you in almost a very factual kind of information, something you can't argue with. So it's to no avail, this Five of Swords, having your way kind of energy. You're not going to be able to argue with the news that's coming in. The next card, Two of Pentacles. I feel this is an opportunity for you, but you're kind of stalling, you're avoiding your feelings, your emotions, and that can have a lot to do with what this page of swords is revealing, the truth that came through. But for some Geminis, you've got not one, but you've got like two ships coming in. This is almost like on this card, she's like flagging the ships in. So at times, the two of pentacles can be like follow the money. Might be an indication that you need to go in a certain direction. And this is going to benefit you financially or health-wise because pentacles is not just money and finance. It's also your health and well-being. So on this card, she's kind of steering the ships that are coming in. So yeah, two of pentacles can be following the money, could be a change of career, a change of lifestyle. Yeah. So right now, this energy is just kind of keeping things going as they currently are, which is not going to last. This is temporary, Gemini, what this card indicates. It's temporary. And... The direction you're going to be moving in, going to be very busy, very busy in the near future. It can be lots of uh, things happening. It could be projects, financial situations. It could be health issues that you're going to have to just roll with. It's like the ups and downs. 
maintaining your focus until it passes. So again, I'm not getting a positive or negative with this energy, but it's something you're going to have to juggle for a little bit of time. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Two of Pentacles, see what we get. The Three of Wands. So whatever this Page of Swords is bringing in, whatever the information, possibly an opportunity, seeing the truth of a situation, the Three of Wands here is about like your long-term plans. And with this clarifying card being the fool for the Page of Swords, you need to go in a new direction. You need to make some new long-term plans. So it's something that's not going to like come and go, you might say. So this juggling act that you're doing here with the Two of Pentacles, uh, which might be avoiding what you need to do, Gemini, and that can't last long because this Three of Wands energy is that you need to make changes and directions and whatever it is, you need to make like a long-term commitment, you might say. Now, your numerology for your three cards is number eight, which is one of abundance. So there is some positive energy and indication that you're headed towards. It's going to be something for your health and well-being, your personal growth, maybe benefiting you financially. Now, let's take a look at your last tarot card, which is more like pulling all your tarot card meaning all together. And you have the eight of pentacles. Well, it's something that you're going to have to put a lot of detail, time, work, and energy into in order for you to master the situation. So in regards to possibly a career, you might be going off in a new direction, maybe one that you want to, but maybe you don't have the expertise. There's a lot to learn. But the Eight of Pentacles is an excellent, like, overall energy for your tarot card readings as it's something that's going to benefit you immensely in the wrong long run gemini and this can certainly be in regards to your health you're going to have to maybe change your lifestyle and it's going to take some time because you're going to have to do things maybe differently than what you have been in regards to diet exercise maybe not doing as much as you used to do gemini and you will get there because the Eight of Pentacles is success. You're going to have success with personal growth either way. Now let's take a look at your crystal for the week. And you have Unikite. Well, this is where I was picking up time is of the essence. Unikite is a crystal about, yeah, living in the here and now. So... Could be an indication, Gemini, that you think too much about the past and how things were and trying to return back to that because your cards are indicating you need to be going in a different direction, a new direction. And that can be in regards to your job, your business, your health, where you want to live, what you want to do, and certainly living in the present. Has to do with the news coming from the Page of Swords, the truth you find out what you need to be doing. So don't become so focused on the past or even the future for that matter. And let me grab my Unikite crystal here. This is a crystal indicating to live in the here and now. It's about focusing on the things and the people that bring you the most happiness. Spend time doing the things that you love, kind of to keep you energized, Gemini. This is associated with the heart chakra. So it's kind of like tapping into what that kind of what that energy of make the most of everything that comes your way, Gemini. Now, I did pull a tea leaf fortune card to kind of wrap up the reading. You received hills. It says obstacles to overcome. 
So I'm thinking this has something to do with the news that's going to be coming in. Something might be somewhat challenging you this week, but the hills are hills. They're not mountains. So nothing is impossible to climb and get over. So there's an indication with your fortune card that there are problems you might have to face, but nothing insurmountable. But they could make your life journey more difficult due to your viewpoint on things. But as you get to maybe the top of the hill, it's going to be easier for you to see how everything's going to pan out. So you will eventually find it easier to view how your life needs to be after solving some of the problems at hand. So your reading this week is all based on the information, the news coming from the Page of Swords, which is going to set you off here in a new direction. So it could be in regards to relationships. This could be a job, a business. This could be your health, Gemini. It's about taking a leap of faith and moving forward. And the Five of Swords here. This is you digging in your heels and not wanting to change, trying to win over and have control of the situation at hand. But you've got the Queen of Swords clarifying that the truth, it is what it is, Gemini. You're going to have to accept it. This is that like number five energy shaking things up. It's a bit difficult to deal with at first, but nothing that you can't overcome, Gemini. Two of Pentacles, indication of possibly for some Geminis that you're going to be moving. Maybe to another place to take advantage of a job opportunity. You just might be biding your time here, this energy. Two of Pentacles is like a temporary situation where you're kind of just juggling things all at once. You can't keep it up forever. The Three of Wands is clarifying that this is something that has to be long term. Might be that you need to change your lifestyle if it's in regards to your health. Um, in regards to a job, uh, you're la launching like some really long term plans. So you're really planning ahead for your future. So it could be a job. Could be maybe a relationship, taking it to the next level, planning to get married. Could be planning to have a family. Eight of Pentacles is an indication that you're seeing to every detail and you will master whatever this new direction is. It could be in regards to your health, a new home, a new city, a new job, something going in a new direction. You will master it, but you have to put in some time and effort. Your angels and guides are suggesting the Unikite crystal this week. Live in the moment. Live in the present. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about how things used to be. Move forward. So don't get stuck in the past or the future. Enjoy what's around you right now. There is this time is of the essence kind of energy. It's the do it now. Go for it. Don't wait. And your fortune card for the week is you have some obstacles to overcome, but nothing insurmountable. And after you dive in, everything's going to be fine, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.